Welcome to K. Keith Photographer's Digital Images Techniques and Tips for the Novice Photographer. And now, coming at you almost live from Kansas City, USA, here's your host, Ken Keith. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host, Ken Keith, and we'd like to shout out a big welcome to those of you in the local Photoshop Elements Users Group. And those of you who are so kind to visit with us on YouTube and the photo blog and Vimeo. Well today is just a rather short tutorial that I've called just the right size in Photoshop elements. And why do I say that? Well if you're like me, if you're going to spend money and have a nice big enlargement of your prize winning image you want to look at that image very closely. And you want to evaluate it and evaluate it at 100%. At least I do. And I want to also do that uh, if I'm going to print at home also. And, uh, you know, the, the paper, especially on the larger printer and the ink, is pretty expensive. So I could do some test prints and all. But the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, to save paper and time and money as I'm going to weight uh, each image at 100 percent. Now you can see in this one from the scale here or you can go to image and resize and look at image size this way that the document width is a bit over 16 and a half in, uh, inches wide by about 11 and 1 8 inch high. Okay. All right, now it's in the uh, fit screen mode. So now I want to evaluate it at 100%. Take a look at it all around. So I go up to view and go to print size. And you can see from the scale down here, you have a scroll bar. And if you put your rulers up against the screen and the image uh, measures exactly uh, what your scale says then your monitor is calibrated correctly but let's take a look here while we're in full edit mode under edit preferences and go down to units and rulers and you'll notice here that it says a screen resolution of 96 pixels per inch and that's what it is and I have a laptop my screen resolution is 100. 72 right here if you are just getting into your uh, software or if you've never adjusted this you will find that the default setting for screen resolution in elements is the old standard 72 pixels per inch. If I click OK there I'm going to go back to print size my scale will still be correct, but if I put a ruler to my screen, uh, which of course I've done many times, I'm going to come out with about 12 and a half inches in uh, width measurement rather than the 16 and a half. So we'll need to go back here to edit preferences units and rulers, go back to the correctly calculated screen resolution of 96 pixels per inch, back to view, print size, and everything is correct. Well, you know, when we talk about uh, monitor's resolution, the way it's advertised, you, you know, the first thing you'll see is the screen size, and it'll say that a certain monitor is 27 inches. That's a diagonal measurement. And then they'll say that the resolution for maybe is 10, uh, uh, 1920 by 1080. Actually the recording that we're doing here is on a 23 inch diagonal HD monitor and the display resolution is 1920 by 1080. But we should really call what, what's advertised as resolution really needs to be termed pixel dimensions. 
and the actual term resolution uh, apply to what we understand is pixel density or the measurement PPI pixels per inch. So now that if we know our pixel dimensions and the diagonal monitor size in inches we can calculate the pixel density or PPI of your monitor by a very simple formula. I'm going to click on that here. Just say, happen to scan it and save it for you right here. And you may remember from math class the Pythagorean theorem and you thought hey when am I ever going to use that? Well we're going to use it today and we're going to use that to calculate first of all the diagonal resolution of your monitor. Right here the W is just the width in pixel squared plus the height of the monitor in pixel squared and then we're going to take the square root of that. And then the final thing in order to calculate the PPI is to take that measurement, the diagonal resolution, and divide it by the diagonal screen dimensions in inches. In my case right here, that figure was 96. Every once in a while, a diagonal screen measurement will be slightly different than advertised. Generally not by much. So if they say it's a 23 inch screen, it could technically be 22.9.95 or 23.1. So your calculation could be just a bit off and you can adjust that here in edit mode, preferences, units and rulers. So if whatever you find is the PPI or pixel density, which is your, your actual screen resolution, plug that in here press OK and you're ready to evaluate all your images at 100%. Thanks for visiting with us today. Have a great week ahead and we will talk again. Bye bye now.